Yes, Mother? You seem to be spending an awful lot of time with Isabel, Zarel's daughter. Is that right? Uh, yes, in fact it is. I'll tell Zarel that you would prefer I didn't see her. Oh, no, Charles, you're mistaken. That's not at all what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Listen, Charles, your mother and I have talked it over. Oh, we think uh, that... may I please have permission to be excused? I'm sorry, Father, but I promised Alex we would go horseback riding, and the poor fellow's been waiting for quite a while. But, Charles... Majesties, the prince seems to have fallen in love with my daughter. I don't know. I didn't get the feeling that he was that interested. On the contrary, I would say he's trying to hide his feelings. He's young and still shy. If he seems standoffish, it's because he's falling in love with her. It's typical behavior for his age. We should introduce him to other young ladies. Allow me to disagree, Majesty. Don't forget that one day the prince will become king. It should be obvious that he mustn't be allowed to marry just any young lady must make the right choice. If we're not careful, we could find him wanting to marry an unsuitable young lady who's only interested in becoming queen, and that would be a pity. I'm in complete agreement. You know, Your Majesty, about my daughter. Ah, oh, but please don't think that I'm here to suggest the position for Isabel. However, it's my duty to think about the future of the kingdom. So I would like to organize a party at my home in a few days in order to celebrate my daughter's birthday. Obviously, the prince will be invited, and that way we can find out more about how they feel. You can fly. Uh, hey! <laughs> That's it. I've finished sewing the last feather onto this hat. This isn't funny! Yeah, come on. I can't see anything. Take it off. Yeah, I need some air. Cinderella. Cinderella. Cinderella, have you finished working on my hat? Of course it's ready. I've re-sewn the feathers. Yes, I can see you have. <laughs> Change the decoration. I want flowers on it, too. But, Catherine, you're the one who told me to put the feathers on. You didn't mention flowers. What are you babbling about? You don't understand a thing, Cinderella. No lady in her right mind would be seen wearing a hat with feathers at this time of year. I see. Well, so remove some feathers and add some flowers. The Duke's party will be held tomorrow. I want my hat to be the most stylish. She's so selfish. Huh, it's disgusting. And unfair. <laughs> I'd love to make her eat that. Charles will come to the reception. But of course, he can't refuse to be present at a party in honor of the young lady he's going to marry. Oh, do you really think he'll marry me? Excuse me, Your Lordship, I've checked the replies. All the young ladies from the aristocracy have accepted the invitation. That's great news. I need this party to be a success. If all of the young ladies attend, the prince can compare us and you'll see I'm the most beautiful. Oh, I must go choose my dress. See you later. Yes, go on. Thompson, you still haven't told me the prince's response. Will he attend? Uh, well, Your Lordship, we still don't know. He doesn't want to say. Nincompoops, why do you think I got you those jobs with the prince if not to supply me with information? <coughs> I'm warning you, gentlemen, tomorrow you're going to bring the prince to my party by hook or by crook, if not. <coughs> Have you ever seen such a beautiful sunset? Tomorrow will be an ideal day for hunting. How about going off together for a few days? You're not serious. Have you forgotten that tomorrow is Isabel's birthday party? No, but I still haven't accepted the invitation. I really don't feel like going. Oh, yeah? Well, why not? I don't feel like it. I don't know what to do. This hat's lovely. Yes, but mine is much nicer. 
Mother, I have a question. What kind of person is this Isabel whose birthday party we're going to? That's really of no importance. She's a stranger to me, too. The only thing that matters to us is that you'll get to know the prince better. Mother, you mean that the prince will attend the party? Obviously, but I can't imagine why that would interest you, my dear Cinderella. <sighs> I wonder if it wouldn't have been better to keep those flowers after all. Oh, I don't know. It is the latest style. Yes, but that's just it. If all the other girls are in the latest style, they'll be wearing a feathered hat. What chance do I have of being noticed by the prince? Why don't you simply ask Cinderella to change the decoration for you? She's had enough practice by now. She should be quick. These feathers are definitely wrong. There are dozens of girls wearing feathers like these. Oh, if I only knew how the other girls would be dressed today. We don't have much time left. Stop worrying about petty details. We have to leave. No, hold on. I must think. I just have an excellent idea. Cinderella, would you like to come to the party with us? Oh, huh? how come? I thought that you could come with us up to Isabel's house. Catherine, what are you saying? Mother, Cinderella could join us. It would certainly make her very happy. So do you wish to come? Oh, just give me a minute so I can change my dress. It won't take long. No, don't bother changing. You look fine. Oh? <laughs> Is the coast clear? Mm -mm. Well, look outside. They're everywhere. It's no good, Charles. It looks like you're probably going to have to go to the party. I'm so excited, I'm trembling. Calm down. We're going in. Not you, Cinderella. Wait here patiently in the carriage for us. Yes, you must wait here patiently with your sewing kit in case my sister changes her mind and wants to redecorate her hat. <laughs> now you know the reason why Catherine insisted you come. What were you thinking? Take good care of me, should he'll stay in the carriage with you. Yes, Mother. I'd like to introduce my daughter, Isabel, whose 17th birthday we're celebrating today.
I wish you a very happy birthday. Please accept these flowers as a small token. How kind of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. My dear guests, we are pleased to welcome the prince among us. Let us now proceed to the garden where you'll find a buffet and some refreshments. Why is the prince wearing a mask? I, I really don't know. Why did I wear a mask? I thought it was a masked ball. It appears that you were misinformed, Your Highness. Indeed, but that's of little importance. He's so regal. He's so mysterious. Wait outside? Oh. I have to wait outside also. It's even worse on an empty stomach, so please take this. Goodbye. Thank you for the cake. Bingo, Choo Choo. What are you doing here? We couldn't help ourselves. We wanted to see how you were doing. Oh. I've decided to come along to the party as well. I haven't been to one in a long time. Look at the stars, they're magnificent. Listen to that violin. It's lovely, but it sounds so sad. Almost as if the violin's crying. Ah, it's you. Yes, so you must be the professional musician. Yes, I'm going to play later. That's why I'm here. My name is Nicholas. And I'm Cinderella. Would you please keep playing? I love it. All right. Lady Laura Pennington. Nicholas and Laura are in love, but they can't get married because she's a lady and he's a musician. But that shouldn't matter, Paulette. You're right, it shouldn't. But some people believe otherwise, and those people attach a lot of importance to social class. Oh. Cool. <laughs> he plays such sad music. It seems they really love each other. They should let them get married. But there's nothing to be done. Laura's parents will never agree to the marriage. What a pity. It's sad not to be allowed to marry the person you love, but how come you know so much? Uh -huh. I wonder how you found all that out. You spied on them, didn't you? <laughs> it isn't nice to spy on people who Hello. are sad. Oh, it's you, Charles. Hello. Evening. What are you doing here? You were invited to the party? No, but I was in the neighborhood and I heard the music, so I thought I'd drop by and have a look. Oh, I see. But spending the evening watching is very boring. The prince has danced with her all night. Oh, is that right? They seem to get along well. 
I wonder what that Alex is trying to pull tonight. Pardon? Huh? Uh, nothing important. Do you think the prince intends to marry that girl? No, never. Oh, no? No, because as prince, I mean, uh, the prince will never marry unless he's lucky enough to someday meet the great love of his life. He'll never marry someone because it's convenient or because of her social class. Some people who can't get married because they come from different backgrounds. If their love is strong enough, they'll always find a way. So you really believe true love can overcome any obstacles? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Huh. For once we agree. <laughs> Could I please have your attention? <gasps> My friends, I'm very pleased you were able to attend. And before this evening finishes, I think the prince would like to take this opportunity to share a word with us. I believe there's something you wanted to say. We await your announcement with keen anticipation, Your Highness. But could you remove your mask so that we can see your face? Oh, yes, please. <gasps> oh, no. Do me the favor, Prince. Please remove your mask. Yes, if you would. <laughs> of course, of course. All of your friends would like to see you. Why is he hesitating? He's keeping us in suspense. All your admirers are eager to see your face. Charles needs my help. The candles have gone out. It was probably a draft. I'm scared of the dark. What happened? Everything's gone dark. Why, yes, it has. Alex, it's me, Charles. Hurry up, we have to change our clothes quickly. Well, it's about time. Follow me, come on. Right. Oh, my, what's going on? Oh, extraordinary. Quite bizarre. Oh, Your Highness, I see that you've decided to honor us by removing your mask. I don't understand what happened to the candles. It seems to me that the prince has removed his mask. That's strange. But where is Charles gone? Your Highness, I must thank you for attending our party this evening. And my daughter Isabel is eagerly waiting to hear what you have to say. Everything was wonderful, Isabel. You are too kind, Your Highness. Thank you. I thank you, Zarel, for inviting me, but please excuse me. I really must be leaving. Good night. Oh, Good Prince night, Charles, everyone. please wait a minute. Have you nothing else to say to me? This time it's clear the prince isn't interested. I don't think I'd want to be in Isabel's shoes. Me neither. It's really I Friends, I think it's time we depart. That was a mistake. I thought I could make you accept this marriage with a little gentle persuasion, but I see that I was wrong. I don't get it. Why did Charles leave without even saying goodbye? Very strange. If their love is strong enough, they'll always find a way. Strong, my friend. Love can overcome anything. It's true. You must believe. 